Every time. That's right. Now, this is the eighth year we've gotten together for this show. That's right. We'd like to salute one of the shows that many of us grew up watching. This time, we have gone to the source. The first comedy variety show on television, actually the first hit TV show, the first, the, he actually changed the whole face of American entertainment. It was the Texaco Star Theater, and the face that did it all, well, unforgettable man. Milton Berle. Yeah. Yeah. The man with the biggest... Watch it. ...reputation. Thank you. And the longest... <laughs> ...career. Better. ...in show business. Now, just to give you some idea of how big Milton is... Thank you. All right, well... When Jerry Seinfeld signed off, is that how you say his name, Seinfeld? Yes. Seinfeld. I've never seen the show, so I don't know. Signed off. 64% of the available audience watched the show. Huge. And were really pissed off afterwards. Don't look at me. On an average, Tuesday night, Uncle Milty got 83%. OK? Without Milton, there would be no comic relief because Milton actually invented the telethon. It was 50 years ago. So stop blaming him. <laughs> Milton was a star long before television. He was in movies, on radio, on Broadway, in nightclubs. In fact, he started in silent pictures, which is where many of us will wind up. Oh, God. In 1914, a mere two years after the Titanic went down, something you cannot blame on him either. <laughs> Milton appeared in Tilly's punctured romance opposite Tilly's punctured romance. It's the shirt. You I know, it's together. scary. Brilliant. Yeah. Opposite another comic, a guy named Charlie Chaplin. Nice freshman over here. It's a marvelous freshman. Very beautiful. Three waiters to each table. <laughs> One gives you the check, the other two revive you. It's a wonderful. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Introducing America's number one television star, who just returned from Washington after paying his income tax, Milton Berle! children of your own one of these days. You listen to me, I'm Burl. Burl, 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 Burl. Two Burl names. Ah, ah, ah. What, what is the highest note you can sing? What is your high note? C. C, I'd be using C, C. C. Breath. Take a breath. <laughs> Always breathe before you sing C. C. Breath, not your nasal, from the head loose. C. Ah. Ah. C. Ah. C. 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 million. <laughs> How about you being a guest on my program, huh, Frank? Yeah, that's an idea. Sure. If you'll, uh, if you'll plug my picture, plug the picture I'm in. Plug the We don't do that on my program. We don't plug pictures. You come on my program and sing a song or two, and that's all. That's all. Yeah, you but do. you could mention it when you introduce Frank, me. we don't mention pictures on our program. I'm sorry. We just don't do well, it. Well, I'm asking you I to don't do care. It. You can argue with me from here to eternity. I won't mention the picture. <laughs> Hey, young man, if you want an autograph, will you stand in the back there? Well, uh, uh I don't care who you are. Everybody wants... Uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley! <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Milton. It's the best I could do. Is, is the mustache all right? Yeah, but that hat. You think this is bad? Look at this one. <laughs> Look at this one. Who are you? Me? I'm you from years ago. I'm Uncle Milty. Hmm? <laughs> 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 I'm on a boat, 
Laugh it up, laugh it up. Are you in here for entertainment or revenge? And now, ladies and germs, I call you ladies and gentlemen, and you know what you are. I do not do stuff like that anymore. Today, comedy is sophisticated. No, oh no! No, what's the matter, my good man? What's the matter? Who is this? Who is this? Why, it's me. Oh, good. I thought it was me. <laughs> Please don't call me between 8 and 9 because tonight is Tuesday, and you know what that means. That's right, Uncle Millie's on again. <laughs> I just can't seem to warm up to him. He's, he's not just my cup of tea, though. Well, you only watched him last week. He would have made you a fan for life. Do you know what he actually did? I can't imagine. He put on a dress. <laughs> I don't believe it. He really did, and it was hysterical. <laughs> Putting on a woman's dress? That's funny. The way he does it, it is. Oh. There's just one place for me, and that's near you. Take it from me, I work for free to be near you. And you can make my life worthwhile if I can give you just one smile. I love you all, and I love to be near you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Television. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. You love me. You want me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for standing. You can sit down in this sort of suit. Thank you. Thank you. Sit down, please. Thanks for standing. Thank you. Mr. Hall, at my age right now, I can stand too. <laughs> Not as good as you. And no, I'm very, very thrilled to be here. Uh, where am I? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> those three people who are out here, they're pretty good. Um, I want to just say, ladies and gentlemen, you know, my long career in, uh, in, in show business, I've, uh, I've received many, many, many tributes. I've been honored at many, many affairs by the Television Academy, by the TV Hall of Fame, all different places. But tonight, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, with all the great awards that I've given, that have been given to me. <laughs> Don't mind me, every, every five minutes, I'm a new audience. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> but with... <laughs> I'm laughing, because I know what's coming next. I, uh... <laughs> but uh, with all the awards that I received, I must say this honor tonight. This honor tonight is the most recent I don't know what the hell I'm saying. And I wanna, hello, how are you? When did you get out? I, pull down your dress, lady, please. Christ, I, I haven't seen Snuggies in years. I, uh, <laughs> I haven't seen Snuggies in years. <laughs> Screw all of you. And I never said that on television, but I got a shot tonight. And I wanna say this, I'm not going to stay on too long. I'm not gonna, and if you believe that, you'll also believe there'll be a Richard Simmons Jr. But I would like to say, <laughs> oh, this is a hip audience. Hip. See the hips on this board? I, uh, <laughs> no, I, I do want to say, though, ladies and gentlemen, that it is really a great thrill to, uh, to, to, <laughs> There's a switch. I can't get it down. <laughs> I, uh, what the hell did I say? I don't know. 
No, I... Uh, <laughs> before I go any further, I would like to thank Billy, Whoopi, and Robin Schwarzwald <laughs> for that very wonderful introduction. Uh, by the way, I must say this, Billy, Crystal, and myself, we've known each other for so many years, and the first time I ever met Billy was in the Bronx, where he was born, and uh, where I died a few times, and uh, <laughs> first time I ever met him was about 25 years ago, and at that time, he was having sex with my cousin, <laughs> and I didn't even, I didn't even know that he knew Irving, but I would like to say, <laughs> just kidding, Billy. I also, I also want to thank Comic Relief and HBO for honoring me on my 85th year in show business. Thank you. Hello, how are you? I want to thank them, and yes, uh, next month, I don't know, I'll tell you, I have a birthday coming up, July 12th, I'll hit the big number, I'll be 90, so I'm very happy to be here tonight. Thank you. I don't feel it. I don't feel it. I don't, I feel, I feel like a 20 year old, <laughs> but there's never one around, I would. I would, I better wrap this up because it's late and I gotta be on the set in December. I, but before I split, I just wanna say this, that during my past 85 years in the business, in show business, from silent pictures to vaudeville, all the way up to TV, yes, folks, I've, uh, I don't know how to say this, I've, I've done it all. I've done it all. Uh, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Don't go away. Talk to each other. Just. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do this, but I'm going to do this. I've written something here, ladies and gentlemen, for tonight, for special. I've written some lyrics that, uh, of, against one of the big popular songs that you all know, but they're special lyrics. And these, no. Which joke are you working on back there? <laughs> See? That's the way it is. <laughs> hey, if you're going to go all the way, you go all the way, all right. But I don't do it every way. But I want to say... <laughs> it is a good audience. I'll be on for three hours. I'm kidding. I'm not, no, I won't. I won't. No. No, I... Uh... I'm not doing anything dirty down here. I'm just holding on. <laughs> I was about to say, I've written these lyrics that I've changed some lines, but they're dedicated to my career and the way I feel about show business and the way I feel about audiences. I, uh, been in the business quite a long time, and uh, I went through a lot of trials and tribulations, and uh, you feel the theater moving. <laughs> I've been through a lot of trials and tribulations, tubulations, <laughs> tribulations. Tribulation. I'm having trouble with my vowels. Um, <laughs> and the things that I went through in my career, in show business, cue. The struggle to play six shows a day, to get to Broadway and play, I'm glad I'm not young anymore.
movies, my mind was out of whack. And on television, I broke my back just trying out the dresses that I wore. Yes, it's been a long run from 1913 till now. But in the long run, please believe me, I took every vow for that extra bow. So I say, in this way, I say to the younger players today, stick around, do the best you can. Throw the audiences, the new people, with laughter, like I did before. God bless to the young comics, the young comedians. We need it. Thank you. getting paid for this. <laughs> ask me. Are ask. you getting paid for this? Oh, answer me. Don't ask oh. me. <laughs> You're a lousy straight man, but I would like to say <laughs> one more time, right? <laughs> Billy, if I ever switch, you're first. Thank you. <laughs> what were you about to say? I can't say it because they're standing in front of the prompter. <laughs> oh, sit down. Please. No, stand up again. No, sit down. <laughs> Hello, Charlie. <laughs> Milton, we have a surprise for you. It's a, uh, as you know, yeah. 50 years ago, this Tuesday, the Texaco Star Theater had its premiere on NBC. And it was such an amazing success, everybody. You caused more television sets to be sold yeah. than anybody in history. You caused television they sets to be sold. That. It's true. Uh, if you had any money, you'd be sitting here. <laughs> He's 90! He's I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Up yours. Here we there go. go. And he's 90! Shut up. All right. You were talking about You caused sets. more television sets to be sold. How and did you know? My father sold his, my uncle sold oh, his. Oh, shut up! No, that's a funny line. <laughs> I wish I'd have said that. <laughs> Don't worry, you will. <laughs> and oh, oh pardon. it's me. Oh yes. Hello, oh, baby. Hello, honey. You're terrific. Thank you. What were you gonna say? Well, I was just gonna tell you that in addition to that, this year is the 50th anniversary of network television, and who better to celebrate that than Mr. Television himself? Oh, thank you, man. 50 years? You about to say something? Yeah, uh, oh, oh, okay. Who's this guy? It's Robin Williams. No shit. Yeah. Robin Williams? Yes. Robin Jokes. <laughs> nice that's, to meet you, Robin it. Jokes. Yeah. And I'd like to say, if that weren't enough, next month, you'll celebrate your 90th birthday. That's right. And I'd like everyone right now to please help us celebrate Uncle Milty's birthday by singing along with us right now. Please, yeah. Max. Happy birthday. God bless you. Ninety. Oh, 
only God. <laughs> yeah. Come on, honey, I'll lick it off in the bank. 